some time off leading into today, had a big lead. They came back, made it a 51-50 game. What did you see out of your team from that point moving forward that allowed for you to build up a more comfortable lead? Uh, we, you know, we just stuck with what we were doing. Um, so, you know, I think we have an experienced team, so we don't, we don't get up too high or too low. We're able to continue to be consistent through the game. So, you know, you expect teams to make runs, and I was expecting them to make a run, no question. You know, they're, they're a young team, but very poised, and they, they play very well. And obviously, with it, they shoot the ball so well that you know that the game is never going to be over. So I think our guys handled their run well, and we were able to, to get a little bit of a, a separation, and we were able to finish out the game. The assist totals continue to be high, as are the points in the paint. How much of, of these guys playing more and more together, uh, being able to work on some things in practice, do you associate you know, those numbers, those easy buckets, to being able to progress as the season goes on? Uh, yeah, we're a very unselfish team. So when we assist, you know, the amount of assists we've had, you know, we've really been assisting in a lot of our baskets, which is, which is really uh, you know, an unselfish team. So I think it's really helped us. Uh, you know, the guys trust that they're going to get the ball when they're supposed to get it. They don't have to worry about taking their shots because they're going to, if you look at our stat sheet, you know, it's three guys had seven shots, one had 10, Wynn had 12, uh, Rob had eight. So there's a, there's a very um, consistent level of shooting. And I think when you have that trust level, it, it, it leads to a, a good offensive rhythm. Kai, you're the guy that really has to orchestrate this as a guy that's the point guard, even though we have a lot of guys who can handle the ball on our team. Do you feel as though that right now where we are in terms of communication and, and, and kind of knowing where the, the teammate's going to be cutting and when he's going to be cutting, is this about as high as it's been since you've been here? Uh, yeah, and the funny thing is I just feel like it can only get better, and we all know that as players. Uh, we've played together for so long now for the past three years, so we all pretty much have a neck of how certain guys cut, when they're going to cut. So, I mean, I just hope we can keep improving on it and just – I feel like the sky's the limit for us, really, you know, honestly. How do you recognize, you know, when there's a guy with a hot hand? In other words, a lot of times you feed DeMond Lynn and he gets, today Winfield Willis was an inferno as soon as he got going. At what point do you kind of uh, to realize that there's something there and, and, and work on trying to get that guy more shots? Uh, you could, some guys just, you could see it when they, when they get ready to catch the ball into the shot. Uh, we know when Wynn's a really good shooter. He's really, really streaky. DeMond's really, really streaky. So, honestly, all of us feel like they hit one. They can hit about five, six more. So we're going to keep feeding them the ball. And that's, we're going to ride with them until they, they tell us, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, Jim, too. I mean, you, you know that Winfield Willis is about as unselfish as it gets, and his feed to Rob Ukuwuba may have been uh, the ultimate definition of that. But uh, is there a point where you say, hey, win? You know, shoot, you've got the touch. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, obviously, yes. I mean, he, he was playing well. Um, you know, we just got to keep moving the ball and just be hard to guard. That's, I think that's why we've been playing well. DeMond Lynn, eight assists. I mean, what does that speak to his level of play? Yeah, it's, it's great. You know, DeMond's capable of taking over the game in so many different ways. You know, we had uh, eight assists from, from uh, DeMond and six from Kai, so that's 14 assists out of your basic your point guard position. So that's when you're getting that type of uh, ball movement, you know, ball starting with those guys and it's, it's finishing with the basket, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Kai, okay, before I let you go, you didn't play in the last game, came out early against Albany. How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, time off. Coach, couldn't, coach wasn't as hard on me. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn anything about yourself or the team sitting on the sideline and watching games? Uh, yeah, you kind of you see how certain guys act when, when they miss a few shots, when they start feeling themselves, when they feel like they're streaky, uh, communication level. It's, watching it from the sidelines, uh, it's, it's a totally different thing. And for all the bad practices, I do apologize. <laughs>